Welcome back to Bytes of Pi. Today we're going to talk about Singing Faces and X-Lights. Singing Faces has been one of the key focal points in a couple of my songs, and it has a nice effect on the show. To give you an example, one of the songs that we did was by a band called BTS that my daughter enjoys. Each of the seven band members has their own animated character. I thought it would be nice to have each of the, animated, each of the characters be animated and sing at the point in the song when their corresponding singer sings. With her help, she identified each place in the song that matched the singer and that character would sing for their singer. With that, let's get started. Here we have a matrix on a house. If I was to look at the wiring view on that matrix, it's 34 pixels wide by 26 pixels high. If you are familiar with images, a 34 by 26 pixel image isn't that high of a resolution, but you can still do a lot of fun things, including singing faces. Over here on the layout tab, if you find your matrix, that matrix has an attribute called faces. Click on the little ellipse. In this face definition window, at the top, you'll have a drop down of all the different faces that you've downloaded. When you first start off, there won't be many, if any at all. So we'll add a few in today's video. This add button here is not what you'll want. Essentially, you can import it from model or files or shift nodes, uh, or you can add your own face. We'll do that in a, a different video, but for today, we'll work with the canned images that x -Lite provides. Here is a list that you can either choose single nodes, node ranges, or matrix. The single nodes and node ranges, if you've ever seen a light show and they have uh, coral images like a singing tree or a pumpkin, essentially it's uh, an image that's cut out of a, a coro or however you want to create this image, and it's outlined in pixels, either the eyes and the mouth and any other pieces are outlined in pixels, and all your singing face will do is turn on and turn off uh, the mouth in a different position or their eyes in a different position. For today's video, we won't cover any of these. Today we're just going to cover a matrix singing face, which is any type of rectangular collection of pixels. Here is, you'll see a table of phonemes. Now, you might ask me, what is a phoneme? That's a very good question. If we were to Google a phoneme, phoneme, it says any of perceptually distinct units of sound in a specified language that distinguishes one word from another. So what that means is in the English language, we have different collections of letters. We have our alphabet. And when you say different letters within that alphabet, your face takes on a different uh, characteristic. So if you were to say like the letter F or V, your lower lip kind of goes underneath your teeth. And you show a little bit of your teeth there. If you were to use the word L or the letter L or D, you use your L, you use your tongue a little bit and your mouth is a little more open. If you say OO, your mouth kind of puckers and rounds out. These are all different phoneme uh, that an animated character does. And showing them saying a particular phoneme will make it look like they're saying the entire word. And that's what we're doing here in x lights x -Lite, if you notice here, they have a different phoneme chart than what x -Lites does. But you can see what x -Lites expects for their phoneme over here in this left hand, where the FV looks very much like this FV, and an uh, U looks very much like a U over here. So when you create your own, you can find different uh, phoneme charts like this and fit them to match the images. Here you see two columns, eyes open and eyes closed, and a list of all different kinds of images. If you were to look at it, it actually is a list of PNGs or any type of image where that character is showing a different state. For example, the this Tata image that I have here is a character is a character in each of these different phoneme states. Like here, you can see uh, this little heart guy is uh, using the etc, which is, matches this etc over here. Uh, the character has AI, where it's saying the letter A or I or if they're at rest, they're not saying anything at all. They have a still face or an M. And that's essentially what this is. You have uh, images of them saying that particular phoneme. Now there's two columns because you can have the characters say the phoneme with their eyes open or with their eyes closed. And being a human, we always blink every so often to keep our eyes lubricated. And this uh, x lights has an, a feature where it will allow the character to blink by switching on, switching the, the image that's being shown. How do I get these images? Well, if you click on this download images, there's a lot of canned images that x -Lights already comes with. Here you can see a COVID blue bulb, or you can get a Santa. And essentially what this is, you're downloading images of this particular character with their uh, mouth in different positions. I won't download that here because we'll use one of my custom images, but the idea is the same. Now that we've got a list of our face definitions, we've downloaded them, I right, cancel, let's match up that character with the, the song. I'm going to, rather than use an actual song, I've actually recorded myself saying, we'll create a new sequence here, musical sequence, 
and looking at my audio, I cr I've created an audio file where I just read from the soliloquy from Hamlet. You've probably heard that soliloquy, the to be or not to be speech. I'll play a little bit here for you. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it's nobler in the mind to see. I won't put you through it, but it's just a, a chunk of the dialogue there. And I'll zoom in a little more. x -Lights gives you an option when you go... x -Lights gives you an option uh, in the timing tracks over here to add to import lyrics. Once you go to the import lyrics, it'll give you a box. And if you've done a popular song, you can probably find the lyrics online if you were to Google it. So if I was to Google this particular soliloquy, I find the speech, to be or not to be. This particular audio track is all the way up to this section. So I'll just copy that right off of Google and paste it. Each of the, new, each of the lines in this text box is a phrase. And when I hit OK, it will create a timing section for each phrase that I entered in. X Lights doesn't really know where each phrase is within the audio. It just, if you looked at it, it just takes each phrase and equally spaces it out within the audio. So you'll need to adjust it back and forth to match the phrase. Now, if I was to look at this, listen to this particular phrase. To be phrase, or not to be? That is the question. I happen to be lucky that this first phrase happens to land exactly on the audio cue. Now that I have this lined up, let's break this phrase down into words. I'm going to break down the phrase into words. Now I have words. Notice when I do that, it creates this little parrot up here with a, a, a cross through it. It knows that it's a, a, timing, a lyric track, but it's not complete. We're going to have to get this complete. Now that I have to be or not to be, let's listen to each section to make sure that's lined up correctly. To be. Okay, I heard a little bit of the B there, so I'm going to adjust this up a little bit. To be. To be. be. Or not. Okay, you can hear a little bit of the not, so I'm going to pull this up. Or not. I'm sure this is not. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Not. To be. Okay, we're starting to get into that too. So, not. Not. To be. To be. Okay, let's adjust this a little bit. Maybe get down. To. Be. To. Be. I bet you it's probably shorter than that. Be. Be. So. Not. Not. To. Be. To. Be. Be. Okay, we have that. Now there's a there's a pause between the B and that, so I'm going to. By hovering right here, you can see I can pull this back and forth and separate them. I'm probably going to start right there for that. That is, okay. That is that that is is probably short. Is and the is probably short. Is the question. Okay. That, that is is the question. Question. Okay. So I've split these words up pretty well. I'm going to zoom back out. Now, um, I can't use this track as a lyric track until I break it into its phonemes. So let's do this breakdown one more time. And it'll load the dictionary and it'll split these up. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now, I could go and adjust each of these phonemes to match if I wanted to. And if I wanted to do that, I'd probably want to slow down the audio to about a half speed or maybe three quarter speed. I won't do that now because I think I'm pretty close. And notice when I broke it down into phonemes, this parrot now is available. Now I can see that parrot. Let me switch to the matrix view so I can just drop this. I'm going to find the faces and drop it into this particular timing section. Now, right out of the gate, uh, I've got the. Uh, let me switch to a, a different face animation. This particular phoneme is being used, so if I was to just play this, it doesn't automatically know what to say. It's just going to say say the word, the letter A for the entire... To be or not to be? That is the question. Time. I can change it to an MBP and then... To the be or not to be? Like that is the, the question. M. What I really need to do is hook it to that timing track I just created. In fact, in fact, let me rename this so if I was to right click on it and hit rename, let's call it lyrics. Okay, lyrics. And hit OK. Let me delete this. Actually, let me just pull this session over it. OK. And then bring it back to a, a face. All right. Go back to the heart. Now let's hook it to a timing track. If I click on timing track, you can see that lyrics now pops up because this is available uh, parrot. Now you can get really creative and do the lyrics for background singers as well as the main singer. And you can have different faces sing different parts. And you can have different lyric tracks hooked to it, so you can choose which lyric track. That's why you have that option here. So let's see if we're close. To be or not to be? That is the question. 
All right, that sounds pretty good. And the, the mouth worked pretty well. If I was to change it, it's really simple to change it to a different uh, character. If I just change the character. To be or not to be, that is the question. Great, all right, we have it working. That's the basics of creating a lyric timing track and hooking a singing face to it. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.